Florida Gulf Coast marches on to the A-Sun Finals on Sunday against Stetson. A victory tonight over North Florida, 89 to 56. The four seed over the one seed inside the UNF Arena. A jam-packed place of 4,305 fans. Fifth largest attended game in arena history. The Ospreys got out to an early start, a nine point lead. Dallas Moore doing a lot of it. 12 early points as he finished the night, 15 points, five assists, and three rebounds with no turnovers on the evening. Chris Davenport hitting a big three there to give the Ospreys that nine point lead. But Florida Gulf Coast, they found energy, they found momentum, and charged back after the Ospreys felt like they had the fans on their side at home, but the Eagles were ready to soar. Leading the game by as many as 35, the Ospreys just had no answer in the interior, whether it was Demetrius Morant, Mark Eddie Norelia, led by the charge of Zach Johnson. There was nothing the Ospreys could do to stop it. Zach Johnson, one of his many buckets on the evening for the redshirt freshman, six of 12 from the field, 15 points, and played 31 minutes. Christian Terrell, a good game for him, maybe his best of the year. 16 points, four assists, and six rebounds. He was finding everything inside, outside, as he shot seven of 11 from the field. Inside the UNF Arena, you'd feel like the Ospreys would have the advantage, at least maybe down low, but the Eagles out-rebounding the Ospreys 49 to 24, as Morant and Norelia just finding a way to get buckets in the paint, Morant with one of his three buckets on the evening. Doesn't wow you with the stat sheet, but he's a big body that few teams can match up against in the Atlantic Sun. Johnson there with another nifty play from their starting guard. As the Ospreys finish the season 22 and 11 in Florida Gulf Coast, moves on, led by head coach Joe Dooley, hugging Matthew Driscoll at the end of the game. Stetson and Florida Gulf Coast, Sunday for the Atlantic Sun Championship game down in Fort Myers.